I learned Italian in only 50 days to surprise my Italian girlfriend for her birthday. However, even though now I'm able to have an entire conversation in Italian, looking back, there are plenty of things that I would have done differently. So make sure you don't repeat my mistakes. Here's how I'd learn Italian or any other language if I could start over. Now, the very first step is something that happens to most or all of us in high school or university. Because what typically happens, we have an exam six, seven weeks from now. In week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, we do our stuff, but there's some procrastination, we push it forward, until in week six, or like the final week, we realize, hmm. So in the final week, what most people do, they really get going, they repeat everything, they make it happen, and by the time they write the exam, unless they start a tiny bit too late, we're actually able to, yeah, do pretty much everything that was expected of us. Now, even though this education system definitely comes with some flaws, there's actually something we can learn from it. Because most of the time when people start learning a new skill that's a bit more challenging, a bit more complicated, all they lack is to have a deadline. Now, you might be saying, yeah, cool, I don't have a real deadline. I just want to learn it because of a hobby. Still, what I would do if I would learn Italian or any new language over, and if I would not have Marvi's birthday, I would go ahead and say, okay, in 100 days, I want to be able to speak an entire conversation in Italian. Meaning you still have a measurable goal, because otherwise you again have nothing to reach for. And if I don't make this happen, then I'm gonna send 50 euros to, I don't know, an organization I really don't like, 100 euros to a friend, just anything to make a deadline, an actual deadline. And once we have this measurable goal and a specific deadline set, we can move to step two, where we're actually gonna start learning Italian. Now what I've done in the video where I surprised my girlfriend for her birthday was to start learning the basics as quickly as possible. Meaning some basic grammar and vocabulary with a vocabulary software called Anki. And even though I would still do the same now if I could start over, I would just completely adjust the approach how I did that. First, I would start listening to an audio program called Language Transfer. Now Language Transfer is a free app by a guy called Mihalis, I hope that's how you pronounce his name, who really would like to make language learning accessible to anybody. And he approaches languages in a completely different way. So for instance, I'm German, if I would like to learn Dutch, which is very similar to Dutch, it would be smarter to learn Dutch from German than learning Dutch from English, because there's differences. And the same goes for pretty much any other language. So for instance, 50% of English actually has a Latin root. So most words that end in T-I-O-N, such as presentation or preparation, is in Italian presentazione or preparazione. And you can take away the tione and put are, presentare, which means to present. It's just a completely different approach. It's an audio course. You just listen to like five, six, seven, eight lessons per day. And in Italian, in this case, you would have it done in around 10 days and you'd be pretty much good to go. Another thing I would have done differently, and it's a recommendation by Manu, the founder of Italy Made Easy, who I interviewed in the process of learning Italian, he mentioned this. Start with the sound system. So not, don't even study, just spend like a single day familiarizing yourself with what the sounds of the Italian language are. But Italians, we are not used to hearing a language spoken by foreigners. Yeah. So we don't understand it. So you gotta pronounce it well. And because I didn't do this and my pronunciation is not perfect, sometimes Mavi doesn't understand me. And it's also why a person commented that I have a very French accent. Now there's two more ways of how to approach learning the basics. First is by a YouTube channel called State of Mind, who mentioned that instead of learning the 1000 most used words, it's way smarter to kind of find out your own most used words. So if I could start over, I would listen to WhatsApp memos and just find out the 100 words, a couple of sentences that I personally myself use the most. And by this, you can actually speak the way you typically speak, but it's also way faster to learn 100 words than 1,000. Finally, and it's another recommendation by Italy Made Easy, would just to be a grammar book to quickly read through it, just to get the basics right. Which brings us to step three, and I think for this, the best thing I can do is to quickly call my mom. Hello. Hello. Um, sto girando un video per YouTube. Puoi parlare in italiano? Con me? Sì. Si. Non conosco le le, le le parole? Sì, non conosco le parole. Okay. Ciao, Ciao danke dir. All right. 
I was not trying to be mean here, <laughs> um, just trying to prove a point. But my mom studied Italian way longer than me and she even was in a language school in Rome. Problem is that she always stated the basics and tried to get the basics as perfect as possible before moving on to step three, which is to start having conversations. However, what I've done and what I would do if I would learn Italian or any other language from the beginning would be to jump into early conversations as quickly as possible. Even if you just know some grammar, even if you just know a couple of vocabularies, I guess I would even do this starting from day seven or day 10 onwards. Now, two more things about this. This does not mean that the basics stop. I still spent 75%, then 60, then 50% on learning the basic vocabulary, on listening audio programs, and slowly, slowly, slowly over time transitioned away from this. The second thing is that nowadays it's actually super affordable. So I found Davide, who was an incredible tutor on a website called Preply, where I think I paid nine euros per hour. I would highly recommend them, affordable, great tutors, and I was overall just super satisfied. Now the fourth step is less of a hard cut, more of a smooth transition to go away from the practicing, from the early conversations into more and more real life applications. So what I would do here, I would still practice with a tutor, but at this stage I would also watch a lot more kids movies because now you can actually understand them. And at this stage, if you have the chance, you can also just do a short trip into the country and practice until you actually reach your desired goal, which I hit after 50 days. Which brings us to the final step, and that's a mistake I've just realized recently. And that's the caveat of this approach of setting a deadline, because what happens most of the time, you say, I want to run a marathon, I want to learn Italian. Once you fit this goal, you kind of fade away. And this happened to me. I started working on YouTube again, and I was still speaking with Marvin Italian. Yes, that's my benefit. But I didn't really repeat the vocabulary anymore because I didn't really had the commitment anymore. So the final step would be to either set a new goal or what I'm going to do is just to book a weekly lesson with my tutor and just have it reoccurring every week, every two weeks to just make sure to not forget everything that I've learned. Now, if you're curious to see how my girlfriend reacted to all of this, if you're curious to see this entire five-step process in action, then you can watch this video next. And I really hope that this video helps you to learn Italian even quicker and even better than I did.